Today, we'll talk about four tools other than Android Studio that I regularly use to help me be more productive and build professional, top quality Android apps. Let's get going. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another ThoughtGill episode. My name is Oliver Sprint. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Every week I give you seasoned advice on how to build professional Android apps in bite-sized chunks. I invite you to subscribe to stay abreast of the latest pro tips. As Android developers, we're used to thinking about Android Studio as our daily driver and the go-to tool for our industry. However, it's just a fancy IDE at the end of the day. There's so much more that goes into building Android apps that it would be impractical to put everything you'd ever need inside of a single piece of software. Much like how we don't pack up our living room for an afternoon hike, Android Studio doesn't have everything you ever need to succeed as a developer. Our first tool's name is so unpronounceable, they needed a dedicated section in the readme file to explain why it has such a name. It's called SCRCPY. I pronounce it like screen copy while I've heard others spell it out. Grammatical arguments aside, this is the best tool for mirroring the screen of your physical device in a native window on your workstation or laptop. It gives you the ability to present your work to an audience via an overhead projector or on a screen share with programs like Teams or Slack. Perhaps you may notice it has a striking resemblance to the Android emulator, and that's the point. However, it really shines when you need to use physical hardware to most effectively demonstrate the capabilities of your app. For example, I just finished creating a course on building an optimized Android application for foldable devices. My demonstrations felt considerably more engaging whenever my audience could watch me interact with a foldable phone in my hands and see the UI adapt in real time on a screen. This was a perfect use case for screen copy. It excelled in showing me fold my device and it accurately reflected device rotations on screen. This software is free and open source, courtesy of the Genie Mobile Group on GitHub. Now, let's go on to our second software application. We all know the cliched phrase that says, a picture is worth a thousand words. In my opinion, pictures with highlights, arrows, and markup may as well be worth 2,000 words. When it comes to the screenshot arena, it's tough to beat TechSmith Snagit. They've been going strong in this field for over 30 years, so it's fair to say that they've thought of most things that you'll ever likely encounter. Here are just a few things that you can do with Snagit. You can add callouts to your pictures show step-by-step -step indicators, blur or spotlight elements, intelligently select content with their magic wand tool, and intelligently move or delete pieces of your content to simplify your screenshot. Even though the screenshot market is flooded with software, this stalwart stands out as a great choice. It's my daily driver for visual communication with my colleagues, documentation, and assembling presentations or videos. It even functions as a screen and webcam recorder that can export to MP4 or GIF. You can find a free 30-day trial of this application on the TechSmith website. After your trial expires, it's $63 for one year of updates. And after that, $13 a year will keep you up to date with all of their releases. It's undoubtedly a worthwhile investment. I'm an avid user of the JetBrains family of IDEs, and working with Android Studio has done nothing to cure me of that. Typically, when a new version of Android Studio drops, you have to stay abreast of the news to know that it happened. Then you'll go to their developer site, download, and run the installer or unzip the files. Not that any of that is overwhelming, but the toolbox can automatically save you all of that effort. Not only can it download all versions of Android Studio and JetBrains IDEs in one click, but it can do the same thing for beta and canary versions too. You can tell it to automatically keep these tools up to date, perform the necessary migrations of your preference files, and then delete the old cache directories. This tool is also free and available directly from the JetBrains website. If you or your company is a paying JetBrains customer, just sign into your account and you'll get all of those benefits. It works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. This last tool is one that the entire company can adopt. I know that it can be difficult to onboard employees or work with other colleagues when you have a bunch of secrets you need to maintain. How do you securely share secrets with your entire team and ensure that they're continuously updated? That is where Doppler comes in. This is an excellent application that really understands the way developers work. You can break your entire stack into separate projects in your company's workspace and then manage each build type as its own environment. That way, you have a clear distinction between your production keys and your development secrets. This tool keeps all of your secrets up to date 
allows you to share them with your entire team, and gives you fine-grained privilege controls. This tool is not only convenient, but it also implements industry standard security and enforces best practices. As long as you use their CLI, you have to be intentional before you start to break their security model and compromise the integrity of your secrets. Their tooling allows you to use these secrets anywhere, whether it's on your development machine or on a CI instance. It even has automatic synchronization with other tools like Azure App Service and AWS Secrets Manager. This tool is free for small teams of five or fewer members. It allows you to create an unlimited number of projects and store an unlimited number of secrets on any of their plans. Pricing starts at $7 a month for teams of six or more developers. There's undoubtedly much more to Android development than just Android Studio and an emulator. I've been a very active developer in this community since 2017, and these are my four go-to tools that I think you'll find to be very helpful. They'll make your job easier, help you be more productive, and help keep your app more secure. With those things out of the way, then you can focus on the things that you're really good at, building Android apps. That's all the more that I have for you today. If you found this content helpful and you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do so. I have new content every Monday at noon exclusively for Android. I hope to see you next time on ThoughtFuel. Thanks and happy coding.